Welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to explore two health conditions that have gained a lot of attention recently. Long COVID, also known as post-acute COVID-19 syndrome, PACS, and post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome, PCVS. While they share some similarities, there are also important differences. Let's break them down in simple terms. First, let's define these conditions. Long COVID refers to a range of symptoms that continue for weeks, months, or even years after the acute phase of a COVID-19 infection has passed. Post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome, or PCVS, refers to symptoms that arise after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine. These symptoms can appear shortly after the vaccination and may last for varying durations. Now, let's look at the symptoms. People with long COVID often experience fatigue, shortness of breath, brain fog, joint pain, chest pain, and a range of other symptoms that can affect multiple organs. These symptoms are persistent and can significantly impact daily life. PCVS symptoms are typically related to the immune response triggered by the vaccine. Common symptoms include arm pain at the injection site, mild fever, fatigue, headache, and muscle aches. While these symptoms are usually mild and temporary, in some cases, more severe and long-lasting symptoms have been reported, such as myocarditis, heart inflammation, and neurological issues. There have been instances where the vaccine has been suspected to contribute to the development of conditions like multiple sclerosis and other autoimmune diseases. So, what causes these conditions? The exact causes are still under investigation, but we have some clues. Long COVID is thought to be related to the body's prolonged immune response to the virus. Even after the virus is no longer detectable, the immune system may remain active, causing ongoing symptoms. Additionally, the virus might directly damage organs during the initial infection, leading to long-term issues. For PCVS, the symptoms are typically a result of the body's immune response to the vaccine. Vaccines work by stimulating the immune system to recognize and fight the virus. This immune response can sometimes cause temporary symptoms, which are generally a sign that the body is building protection. In rare cases, the immune response may be excessive or misdirected, leading to more severe symptoms. Let's talk about prevalence. Long COVID affects a significant number of people who have had COVID-19, but current estimates suggest that up to 10% of those infected may experience long-term symptoms. The risk of long COVID appears to be higher in those who had severe COVID-19, but even those with mild or asymptomatic cases can develop long-term symptoms. PCVS is much less common. Most people experience only mild and temporary symptoms after vaccination. Serious side effects are very rare, but the increasing recognition and study of these effects are important for understanding the full impact of the vaccines. Treatment approaches also differ. For long COVID, treatment focuses on managing symptoms and improving quality of life. This might include physical therapy, medications for pain or inflammation, mental health support, and lifestyle changes like exercise and diet adjustments. Research is ongoing to find more effective treatments. For PCVS, mild symptoms usually resolve on their own within a few days. Over-the-counter pain relievers and rest can help alleviate discomfort. For more serious reactions, medical attention is required, and specific treatments depend on the nature of the reaction. In some cases, specialized care may be necessary, similar to the treatment for long COVID. Both conditions can cause similar or even identical symptoms. For instance, fatigue, shortness of breath, and neurological issues like brain fog can occur in both long COVID and PCVS. This overlap in symptoms can make diagnosis challenging, as it requires careful evaluation to determine whether symptoms are due to a past COVID-19 infection or a reaction to the vaccine. The pathophysiology of these conditions also shares some common features. Both long COVID and PCVS involve an overactive or misdirected immune response. In long COVID, the body's immune system remains in a heightened state long after the initial infection has cleared. This prolonged immune response can cause ongoing inflammation and damage to various organs. In PCVS, 
the immune system's response to the vaccine can sometimes lead to inflammation and symptoms similar to those seen in long COVID. Research into the causes and mechanisms of these conditions is ongoing. Scientists are studying how the virus and the vaccine affect the immune system and why some people are more susceptible to long-term symptoms than others. Factors such as genetics, pre-existing health conditions, and the severity of the initial infection or immune response may all play a role. It's also important to note that long COVID and PCVS are not unique phenomena. Other viral infections and vaccines have been known to cause long-term symptoms and autoimmune conditions. For example, the Epstein-Barr virus, which causes mononucleosis, has been linked to chronic fatigue syndrome and multiple sclerosis. Similarly, some vaccines, such as the HPV vaccine, have been associated with autoimmune reactions in rare cases. Understanding these parallels can help researchers develop better treatments and prevention strategies for long COVID and PCVS. Public health messaging and medical communication need to address the reality of these conditions without causing undue fear or vaccine hesitancy. Vaccination remains a crucial tool in controlling the spread of COVID-19 and preventing severe illness and death. However, acknowledging and studying the rare cases of PCVS can help improve vaccine safety and support those affected by these conditions. In terms of prevention, ongoing vaccination strategies may need to be adjusted based on emerging evidence about vaccine-related side effects. This could include changes in vaccine formulations, dosing schedules, or the development of new vaccines that minimize the risk of adverse reactions. Monitoring and reporting systems for vaccine side effects should be strengthened to ensure timely identification and management of any potential issues. For individuals experiencing long COVID or PCVS, support and advocacy are essential. Patients should be encouraged to seek medical care and participate in research studies to better understand these conditions. Medical professionals need to be trained to recognize and treat these syndromes effectively. Additionally, patient support groups and resources can provide valuable assistance and community for those affected. In summary, while both long COVID and PCVS can cause ongoing symptoms, they differ in their causes, prevalence, and severity. Long COVID results from a prolonged response to a past infection, whereas PCVS is usually a short-term reaction to the vaccine. Both conditions can cause similar or identical symptoms, making diagnosis and treatment challenging. Understanding these conditions can help us navigate our health decisions better and support those affected. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe for more content on health and science. Stay safe and take care.